This YCN segment is brought to you by Mount Sunapee Resort. Fun for all seasons. Welcome back, YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, final segment, and before we get to our picks, we'll continue with some football, breaking down the AFC East, and there's not a lot of excitement in that division, obviously nice. the Patriots, a heavy, heavy favorite, yeah. with the Dolphins, Jets, and Bills. Is there any chance anyone's going to be challenging the Patriots this year? I mean, I don't really think so. I think uh, the Dolphins are going to be good. Uh, I think Ryan Tannehill is a pretty underrated quarterback. He's, he's actually pretty good. He can throw the ball really well. Uh, but for the most part, I think the Patriots are going to have a pretty easy time. I mean, the teams are going to be a little different looking. I know the Bills, no right. Tyrod Taylor, and the yep. Jets have a new quarterback. Yep. But uh, for the most part, I think the Patriots, they're not going to find their troubles in their own division. <laughs> right, and, and you mentioned the two rookie quarterbacks with Sam Darnold for the yeah. Jets and, and Josh Rosen probably getting the start for the Bills. Obviously, they have Nathan Peterman and A.J. McCarron trying things out. But you're right, the Dolphins with Ryan Tannehill. Remember, he got hurt in, in training camp last year. But now he's back. He's such a strange quarterback because he has a lot of talent, but sometimes you watch him out there and he's just terrible right. with his decision-making. But he is good talent, and I don't want to say they're going to challenge the Patriots, but they might be able to get six, seven wins and at least – kind of separate themselves, you know, where it's Dolphins and then it's Jets and Bills, because I really right. think the Jets and Bills are going to be pretty terrible. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, we've seen the Patriots when they've gone down to Miami and played the Dolphins. We've seen them right. lose down there before. Yep. Um, so, and, and that defense has found a way to really get to Tom Brady, um, but if, if that offensive line, you know, can protect Tom in Miami, I think it's going to be an easy game to win. I just really don't think they're going to uh, pay too much attention or have right. any problems within their own division. Yeah, it looks like it's a pretty easy schedule for the Patriots, or at least an easy divisional right. schedule as usual. We're going to break down a division each week. We'll do the AFC North, probably the Patriots' toughest competition, the Pittsburgh Steelers, next week. It's time for the Salt Hill Pub Picks of the Week. Salt Hill Pub, on a food, perfect pints, live music, now here to serve you in five locations. All right, here we are with our picks. Last week we did the American League, this week the National League. So, Andrew, we'll start with you. The National League West, who you have winning that division? So, in the NL West, I am going with the L.A. Dodgers, I think. Uh, I mean, I think they were a really good team, but especially with the moves right. they made, Machado and Dozier, I think they just improved so much. And Justin Turner, if he can get healthy, right. I think they might be even the best team in the NL. Yeah, they're pretty good. And plus, Clayton Kershaw pitching well. Right. Uh, always a question mark if he's going to be healthy. I agree with you. I take the Dodgers to win the National League West as mm -hmm. well. The NL Central, who you got? It's a tight race there. It is a very tight race. I am going with the Cubs. Uh, I think they're a really good team. Obviously, they're really well managed. Uh, I think Chris Bryant's health is going to play into that a lot. I know when he came back, he was mostly just a singles hitter. He lost that power. I know right. Rizzo's kind of having a down year, but Javier Baez, having an MVP type kind of year, but I'm, I'm going with the Cubs. John Lester's pitching right, really well, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of guys. I mean, the Cubs are always one of those teams, it seems like the last couple of years, they've let the Brewers hang around like right, they're doing yeah. now, but then they pull away. I agree with you. I take the Cubs. They got Cole Hamels. Yeah. Can he be an addition? Right. Um, plus, you mentioned Baez having a great season, so yeah. I take the Cubs. Okay. National League East, who you got there? Yeah, so uh, over these last couple of days, got to see the Phillies firsthand. I'm going with them. I think they're a really good team. Uh, obviously, their pitching staff anchored by Aaron Nola and Jake Arrieta. Those two guys mm -hmm. are very good pitchers. We saw the Red Sox, the best offense in the league, struggle to score against them. And their offense, they didn't play exactly well, but Reese Hoskins. Yes, and, uh, very big. Yeah, a bunch of those guys. I think the Phillies, kind of a surprise, but they're my pick to win the East. Definitely. Yeah, the National League East is interesting because you've got the Phillies and the Braves. They're both yeah. young teams, kind of ahead of schedule. Right. And then you've got the Nationals, who, as we mentioned, they have tons of talent. Just putting up 24 runs the other night. Yeah. And obviously Strasburg, Scherzer, they've got talent, but they're five, five and a half games out. Can they catch him? I say yes. I know I'm in the minority. Yep. I do think they are a little bit of an underdog, but I'm going to take them. They still got two months. Bryce yep. Harper still on the team. I take the Nationals. Gotcha. Who you got for the wild card? Number one wild card for you. So you were just mentioning the Braves. They are my number one wild card team. They are a very young team, but I think uh, guys like Acuna Jr., uh, they have a lot of young guys. And uh, uh, what's what's their other guy's name? Uh, their young guy. Um, Inciarte. Inciarte. Yep. Yeah, yep. he's one of them. I think uh, they're going to host the wild card game. Yeah. Braves, once again, in that tough division with the yep. Phillies and Nationals, but they do look strong. They came into Fenway and played right. the Red Sox this year, so we got to look at them, and they're a good team. My number one wild card is the Arizona Diamondbacks, a strong yep. team. They've been battling, I think, you know, as of right now, they're in first place. They've been yep. battling with the Dodgers. 
I think they get the number one wild card. Gotcha. Who do you have as your number two wild card? Yeah, so number two, I'm going back to the central. I'm going with the Brewers. I think uh, they're going to almost overtake the Cubs, but right. just come up just short. But I think, uh, you know, they made some moves recently. But guys like, uh, obviously, Travis Shaw, the one who got away from the right. Red Sox, he's having another good year. And uh, Thames, they've got a bunch of good players. I think they're going to be the visiting team in the wild card. All right, I'm taking the Brewers as well. The other move they made, Moustakis. So they've yes. got Moustakis and Shaw. Kind of an interesting right. experiment there. Second and third baseman, or both third baseman, both playing second base and trying to figure it out. So there yeah. are our National League picks. And as we go on through the season, we'll be making some more playoff predictions. Don't forget, you can always check out Andrew's show every Friday night, 7.30, Sports Wrap. You can always check out our show online, ycnnow.com. Thanks for watching.